true battle is like. Wow. Chase me down to the end of the earth, won't you, buddy? This far. Still, what a worthless bunch. I can't believe they couldn't stop a lone cyborg. Ziggy, this is the guy. Yeah, I know. Looks like I'm about to get some decent exercise. And this baby's quite pleased as well. seconds away two seconds away doing this is gonna save me more time and freaking just doing that fight so, fuck it Tedious, so tedious. All right, here we go. Momo, be careful. He's no ordinary enemy. Ready? 
It's a fight I can lose, rather. That's fine. I'm not gonna lose it. We'll see what I get for winning this fight. Bunch of bullshit. Bunch of fucking bullshit. But since it doesn't matter, I'm gonna move her up to the front. See what happens. It doesn't matter. Nothing fucking matters. So after I use bodyguard, she's going up to the front. He's no ordinary enemy. Take this. This motherfucker can guard and defend, or attack and defend the same fucking time. Really? How's that not a joke of a fight?
one, and this guy gets hit so fucking often that she's not even going to be able to help. It's not even an option. Again, motherfucker is attacking and defending at the same fucking time somehow. Just playing fucking cheating, man. I've got my special attack, he knows I've got my special attack, and the motherfucker is cheating. No respect for this guy. None. No fucking respect for this guy. Look at this shit. Attack and guard. Cheating. Cheating. Basic attacks all game, otherwise, he's going to fucking defend. Let's go! Fucking uh. shit. Still defending. <laughs> still. Still fucking defending. What is it, a glitch in the coding? Is it a fucking glitch in the coding? Is that it? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. So I'm gonna leave her in the back. And I'm never gonna get to 6 AP. We'll see what happens. Never gonna go to 6 AP. Momo, be careful. He's no ordinary enemy.
What's wrong? Is that all you got? Something wrong? No, it's nothing. Momo, find a trade column and short jump us out of here. I want to get back on our return path once we shake off the pursuit. Okay. Delicious! Yeah, this ain't bad at all. Oh, come on. How can this girl's cooking be any good? But, Captain, you're stuffing your face. Ah, shut up. Don't disturb a man when he's eating. Water. Sure. You do quite a lot. Really? This is pretty typical for me back home. I have my no good brother to thank for that. He doesn't do a thing all day except sit around and read books. <laughs> well, there's no one on this ship that has any of your skills. That's a shame. I guess that's what happens when you have an entirely male crew. You got that right. Normally there's not even a hint of estrogen on this ship, so you can forget about having a good meal. Who usually does the cooking around here? We take turns. Not that it matters, because the cooking's always bad. There is one person on board who does nothing but eat. Um, what's that? Water! Sure! Chief, um, can I have some water too? Oh, sorry. I hadn't noticed. I hadn't known it. So, what are we gonna do now? Well, we certainly can't leave Cosmos to our own devices, can we? She's functioning independently. <sighs> and to think. We were supposed to get vacation time once we completed the startup experiment. I turned her over to the second division. <laughs> You're starting to sound a lot like the captain. There's no use crying over spilled milk, you know. The first thing we need to do is to contact headquarters and ask for instructions. <sighs> so 
I guess we're stuck with these guys for a little longer. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, I got a little suspicious, so I checked this ship's registry. Did you know that these guys are with the Kukai Foundation? That place is bad news. I heard a rumor that it's just crawling with mutants. Hey, that's kind of a racist comment. Listen, Alan. Sure, it's a well-known fact. The Kukai Foundation was established by the Milshin government as a specialized military group. But they only held that status until the completion of the post-war proceedings. Although, they haven't gotten around to demilitarizing quite yet. They're being run like any other valid foundation nowadays. You know, as a matter of fact, their current director received a lot of praise for taking in and protecting victims in the days before the Species Preservation Act. He's really to be commended. Gainen Kukai. Oh, <laughs> chaos. <laughs> What's up? Oh, I just dropped in to see if there was anything I could help out with. Oh, thanks. We could use some help drying the dishes. Sure thing. Phew, that's everything. Yep. Huh, what's this? That's for the commander. Come to think of it, he didn't join us for dinner, did he? No, and I even called him. Oh well, I'll just heat it up and take it to him. Well, how about we call it a day? Good idea. Oh. Did you forget something? No, but where did Cosmos go? Oh, Cosmos? She's being tuned in her service module down in the hangar. It'll probably take a few more hours. <laughs> oh, did you want to go down and talk to her? I'm sure she'd like that. Oh, really? Of course. Thanks. See you later. Bye.
if I can actually do that with the food in my freaking hand. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay, so I'm on another ship. I have to figure out where I'm going to use this thing. Oh my god, there's actually a storm that's been like 20 years. Ha 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 ha! 